we are about to go through a house together and do a whole bunch of photos. This video is going to be really beneficial if you're getting into real estate photography and you're like, what do I even do when I get inside of a house? So we're going all the way through beginning to end of just an interior shoot. And I wanted to bring up a couple quick points. I actually filmed this like four months ago um, and just got around to editing it. So my apologies for that, but I was just watching through the whole thing and I was like, I think I need to go over a couple, a couple of quick tips with you guys. So number one, you'll see that in this video, I'm shooting three brackets. And for the most part nowadays, I'm actually shooting five. I want more data, I want better windows. Thing number two is that I'm shooting all auto white balance in this video and then I go to manual white balance a little bit and while I'm still shooting auto white balance for the most part, I want you guys to know that there's a setting called prioritizing white. And this is really, really powerful. It's a really great way to get some easy white balance inside of a home so that your camera is not prioritizing the white balance outside when you're looking at windows, it's prioritizing inside. So I know Sony does it, I know Canon does it. I don't know about the other ones, but they probably do. You can prioritize white instead of like the standard white balance. And then thing number three is that all of these photos I'm going to have for you guys down below. You can download the RAWs and you can also download the final photos. I figure both of them are probably valuable to you in some way or another. So I will put a link down below for you to download those, but that's it. Let's go ahead and get into the meat of the video. Let's go. What is going on guys? Welcome to another YouTube video. This one we are inside a home, actually on a real shoot. We already shot this house previously, but they just repainted everything. So they called us to do another shoot. So nice little two for one on a house. But today we're just doing interior. So I thought I would do a little follow me on the shoot. I'm gonna try not to like talk too loud because it's very echoey in here, but uh, I'm just gonna have you guys follow me. I'm gonna go over settings, tell you what I'm thinking as I'm doing it and just show you the entire thing. So we're gonna start right here at the front door. I have it in auto uh, white balance right now. I'm gonna keep it that way unless it proves to be a problem. And with this, I have my 14 to 24 millimeter lens on, and I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a shot of this front door. It needs to be a little higher for this shot. And I am shooting brackets only. So this is all HDR photos. I'm gonna get a little bit of an angle here to show some of that hallway, some of the window, um, and just a little bit more of a dynamic shot. Make sure that it is level with the little bubble right here. And go ahead and grab this shot. Looks pretty good. Um, and what I will do is on every single photo, I'll show you guys Bam, the finished photo, and I'll show you the settings of each photo as we go so I don't have to say them every single time. All right, so I got that from that direction. I'm gonna go ahead and get this room this way. So I'm gonna go all the way wide here, 14 millimeters, get all the way into this corner, show three walls. So this wall, that wall, and that wall over there. I'm gonna get my settings right. So I'm shooting F8, one over eight for shutter speed, and then ISO 160 right now. Looks good. I wanna make sure on my darkest exposure that I can see out the window perfectly fine, and I can, it'll look good. Let's go ahead and get one of this dining room area. Now we did set everything up before uh, we started filming, so opened all the blinds, turned all the lights on, made sure all the fans were off, got it perfectly ready to go. And this is a vacant house, totally empty, makes it really easy. So, back up a little bit more. Um, this one I'm actually gonna show four walls. So I'm gonna show this wall, that wall, that wall, and kind of the edge of this column here. Looks great. And then, I might do one like this, showing that doorway into the master bedroom. So let's go ahead and bump my ISO up. Perfect, all right, let's keep, keep moving. Okay, so this is the kitchen area, a bunch of shots here. 
Um, there are some cords. There's some cords in the master bedroom, another bedroom. Um, there's a cord coming out of the wall there. So we will Photoshop all of those out. If you can't remove them in person, make sure you can Photoshop them out. Definitely deliver the best quality you can. That includes removing cords. All right, let's grab this shot. I'm gonna get a straight one right down the middle of this uh, kind of aisle right here. I am adjusting my shutter speed a little bit slower. Make sure it's all level. White balance looks good. Grab that shot. I'm at like almost 18 millimeters. That looks great. I'm gonna do one same area, but I'm gonna go wider and show the whole space. Looks great. I'm gonna come over here. They have like a little nook inside here. Um, has like, it holds wine bottles, has a, just some extra cabinets in here. And I'm actually gonna do one vertical. So don't be afraid to do a couple vertical shots in your uh, gallery of photos. I know it's like not typical, um, but these realtors can put them on the MLS and sometimes it's just the best way to show it off. Now my level does not work vertically, um, so just pay attention to your line. So I'm making sure that this is perfectly vertical and this wall is perfectly vertical. I'm just doing it off of sight here. Looks great. All right, I'm gonna come over to this side. Um, I think I'm gonna shoot one straight down this way, kind of similar to what we did over there. Touch the fridge. Looks pretty good. I'm like dead center of this right now. The camera is level. I should be good. That one actually, the white balance was pretty far off. So I'll just give you a quick peek. Like it's, um, is that in focus? Kind of hard to tell, but that is overly orange. So when you are shooting um, a house and you have it in auto white balance, the majority of the time, occasionally if it's like looking at a window, um, the white balance will be off. And so if that's the case, then just go ahead and delete that photo. I'll just delete that one that we just took. I know I like the uh, composition of it, but we'll just go ahead and switch it. I have auto white balance on a quick setting, put it in manual, and then we'll go ahead and take a look here. A lot of times you can do it by eye, but we also have an app called Light Spectrum Evo Pro, and you can just hold it up and I can see, okay, it should be about 4,200 Kelvin. So we will put it to that, take the photo. I actually think it might need to be a little bit less. Yeah, that looks good. And much better. That's like perfect white balance on that. So occasionally you'll need to do manual white balance. Very easy though. Um, get the app, it'll give you a good idea of what the white balance of the room is. And then just eyeball it, make sure that it's, um, you know, what you're seeing in camera looks like what you're seeing in real life. All right, uh, I'm actually gonna do one more from here. I'm gonna go real wide. I'm gonna show kind of the face of the fridge here. Also show the range on that side. And I'll just leave it in the exact same settings. Okay. And then let me grab one of just the sink. I'm gonna lower it a little bit. I'm gonna zoom all the way in. I'm even gonna put it in APS-C mode so it's gonna crop in a little bit more. And I'm pretty much level. Let's see. All right, that should be good. The sink is lined up with that fan right there. That's something I'm paying attention to. I like that I can see a little bit of the countertop in it. Just gives a little bit of a different look, a little more architectural style. Same settings as the last one. Perfect. All right, do we need to do anything this way? That's the laundry room. I don't think we really care about that too much. Um, let's go ahead and go over here. I'm gonna get one of the kitchen again, but from this angle, so you can see um, kind of the whole thing a little bit better, as well as this bar top where people can put stools, just gives them a good idea. Take it out of APS-C mode, go all the way wide. 
And actually I'm gonna include the staircase. So that's another thing, there's a staircase right there. So if you can help the buyer uh, be able to understand the layout, the layout of the house a little bit better, that's always the goal. So get your artsy shots as well, but showing perspective of where things are is very helpful. So this one, I can see the stairs, I can see the entire kitchen, I can see the dining room window over there. It really gives you a good wide shot of everything going on. Perfect. All right, now let's do one this way. Again, I'm gonna show the stairs. Nearly the same settings. I'm gonna lower this down a tiny bit. Good. And I've just kept it at that uh, manual white balance this whole time since this room, all the lighting is the same. Once I leave this area, I'll probably put it back in uh, auto white balance. This is a great shot. I'm on the left side of these sliders here so you can see the entire thing. I can see this wall right here. I get a good view of the entire room. And then I'm paying attention to the fan, trying to keep that in the center of the shot if possible. Perfect. Let's get one more in here. I'm gonna go, I think here so I can see outside and just show the whole room one more time. All right, let's move on. So this room, there's a bunch of cords, as you can tell, unfortunately. Uh, what we'll do is like think like you're in Photoshop and make it to where it's easier uh, you know, we can take this out, not a big deal, like physically take it out, but things like this, if you can keep it all in like one tile, so you're not recreating grout lines and things like that, the easier you can make it on yourself, the better. So we'll just go ahead and take this out, this little piece of paint out, and, uh, and grab that shot. This is just a guest bedroom. You really only need one shot of it. So I'm gonna get um, I'm gonna get this angle so where you can see most of the closet, the fan and light is centered. Put it back in auto white balance. Oh, I just noticed that my ISO is a little too low. I don't wanna put it below 100 because um, on a Sony, it'll have a line above and below if it is too low, meaning that is not, um, it's below your base ISO. And so base ISO is where you're gonna have the best results and the least amount of grain. So if we can put it at 100, um, that's gonna get you the best result. Looks good. I'm gonna put this back in here. All right, let's move on. Okay, got a bathroom. I'm gonna lower this a little bit. I'm gonna put the camera like just a little bit above the counter height here. I'm gonna go ahead and bump my ISO and get just a good shot of the counter. I can see this towel ring right here in the photo. And if I just put it up like that, it's gonna be out of the photo. Might as well make it look a little bit better. Okay. This is another bedroom that is a guest bedroom. Um, I really only wanna take one photo of it, but it also has a bathroom attached which goes to the pool. So if you have something like this, you really wanna show, if you're only gonna do one photo, you really wanna show that it has this bathroom. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna get a shot of the room this way. That way I can see the bathroom, I can see the door, I can see the whole closet. It gives you a really good layout of uh, what this room looks like and what uh, a buyer would be interested in. Still an auto white balance. Every single shot I'm taking is an F8 for the aperture. I'm gonna open this door for the shot you can do it with it open or with it closed. I just like, I just like open door shots sometimes. So. <clears throat> I 
the fan out there is moving um just the fan outside is moving just from the wind there's like a fan up there and it's really too high to to touch so uh i think i'm actually going to close that door unfortunately you know just got to work around the problems that you have in the house so we have the blinds open but the top of the door kind of hides the fan so open that as much as we can i'll hold it with my foot here and just take a straight on shot looks good all right let's move along and go upstairs all right guys so a little upstairs bonus room i'm gonna take one photo just right from the top of the stairs get it nice and level here all right that looks good and i'm gonna take one from over there but i have a closet here that i'm gonna close before I go over there. It's unfortunate I'm kind of messing up the perfect vacuuming lines, but you know, just try to walk in a straight line and don't mess them all up. All right, we're gonna take this shot. Okay, let's go to the bathroom. <clears throat> all right, we have some furniture pieces here. Let's just move that out of the way real quick. And take this shot. All right, so I gotta get out of the way because I'm in the reflection of the glass on the shower. Looks good to me. White balance looks good. So we're done up here. Let's go back downstairs. That carpet is like wet up there. All right, guys, we're back at the entrance of the house and this is the master bedroom. So we're going to go ahead and shoot in here. So we have the same problem. There's some cords on the ground coming out of the wall. We can't take them out. So we'll just leave them there. Um, this is a, a cool room. Like it's not your typical just square. So I'm gonna to try to show that off. I want to get a straight on shot of this room. So that's gonna be my first, first one that I do. I'm gonna raise this up in here, like raise this camera up. Um, just cause the ceiling is so high. So I'm gonna raise that up and turn this around. So I have this on this side. I'm trying to be center with the fan still. So that's why I'm kind of like awkwardly hugging this corner here. All right, let's see if auto white balance does a good job. Yeah, it looks perfect. All right, let's go over to this side. I'm gonna get this shot, making sure that I'm showing the French doors here. I'm just gonna go something like that. And again, we'll edit out those cords. Looks good. Moving along, I pretty much never shoot closets unless they ask me to, but 98% of the time they don't. So a little bit of an awkward layout of a bathroom. You'll run into this a ton. Um, I'm gonna come down on the height of this to be just a little bit over the countertop, which you can see right over here. And I'm just gonna try to highlight this in a couple different ways. I'll probably take like three to four angles in here because it's hard to capture the whole thing in one angle, but very first one, let's do a straight on shot. Okay. Looks great. I'm gonna do a, another straight on shot of the vanity here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit on it and come back. Thankfully the mirrors are you know, two mirrors instead of like the whole thing. So you can just stand right in the middle and you're not in the shot. Otherwise I'd have to like duck down to run out or something, but this looks good. Camera is level. There's a grout line that I see that's almost directly in the middle of the vanity. So I'm going to go on that grout line and let's grab that photo. 
Perfect. All right, I'm gonna put this down and grab a shot of just the tub by itself. I think I need to come down even lower. So let's put these legs down. Something like that. Yeah, this is a good looking shot. All right, I'm gonna focus on kind of the front part of the tub. That way it's like not super blurred right up at the front of the photo. Perfect. All right, and let's try to get one of the shower. So very awkward, tight spot here. Um, I think this is another opportunity for a vertical photo. I'm gonna go ahead and put these legs back out. I'm gonna try to grab a good vertical from here. Because right now, like at, at this horizontal angle, it is super hard to tell anything. So yeah, this is a this is a good one. I'm gonna spin it. Looks good. You can definitely see so much more of the bathroom or of the shower doing it this way. All right, and the last one I want to do is one from this angle where you can see the tub, you can see the vanity, and you can see back into the actual bedroom. So I'm going to lower this back down a little bit. I'm going to come over here and do a straight on shot. I'm going to go even a little, I'm going to go a little bit further back and just change this uh, tripod leg. Yeah, that's a that's a good looking shot. So I'm looking at the ceiling lines, I'm looking at the walls, make sure everything looks right, even though it looks level on here, still make sure the camera is positioned correctly. All right. Uh that is the last photo. So let me go out front and uh finish this video out for you guys. All right guys, so that is the end of this video. It was like 15 to 20 minutes total of shooting time. This was a 36 photo package, so $265 for us. Pretty good to do in just 15 to 20 minutes. If you guys are interested at all in growing your business in 2023, we just released our marketing section of Real Estate Media Pro. It is super comprehensive, has everything you could possibly wanna know about growing your business. And if you're trying to just kick ass in 2023, this is a great way to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful and I'll see you guys in the next one.